So apparently, you know, we keep thinking about, you know, the secrets of Equestria, right? All the things Celestia is hiding, mm -hmm. right? And everyone's always looking in Canterlot or the Crystal Empire for these secrets or other places, right? Well, I think there's a lot of secrets going on in Ponyville that nobody <laughs> is fucking, right? And it's like right, it's always that hidden thing right under your nose, right? Why was there a fucking secret ass compartment, secret ass book in the library? Did Twilight and Spike put that shit there? Or was that there from the previous library? Well, inhabitant? Spike was clearly surprised that that was there. He was, but he knew what to do immediately when he yeah, found it. Yeah, he looks at it. He's like, I'll just push this. Oh, look, it opened. Oh, look, a secret book. I wonder what this is. Oh, it's the right one. Aha, here it is. It's like, how the hell did he know that? How did he even get to the right page in the book? Is that me? And at exactly that right moment, he'd never found that before in all the times of being in the library for over now, a year. Now, the problem they were researching involved Pinkie Pie. I just had a Pinkie Hurricane raging through my shop. It did. And Pinkie Pie has her own kind of fucked up magic. I get different little niggly feelings and they mean different things. Like when my back gets itchy, it means it's my lucky day. And when my knee gets pinchy, that means something scary is about to happen. I mean, she can predict things, but I don't think she actually predicts things. I think all of the pinky power is actually her causing them to be like a poltergeist. It's possible. Because otherwise it doesn't make sense. It never happens again. That's true. <laughs> so if they were researching magic around Pinkie Pie and her chaos or whatever happens, maybe that caused the book to appear at the right moment when Pinkie Pie was the most discouraged. You know, another possibility, right, is, you know, it was in there, it had cobwebs, but Spike knew it was there, right? Maybe it was sort of like they found this book when they moved into the library, right? And they realized this is a book with information that normal people really, you know, you shouldn't let people check this book out because it's like, oh, I can go make clones of myself in the forest nearby. Million derpies. Right, so that book is like the guy, it, the, what's the title of that book? They didn't say, right? The title of that book could have been, you know, the m mystical secrets of Ponyville and the Everfree Forest. It know? could be like that book in Gravity Falls. Yeah, and that book was probably newer than, you know, I guess, um, Granny Smith. <laughs> yeah. That book is newer than Granny Smith when, of the founding of Ponyville, right? It can't be that old. Granted, it seems like no one really knew all the stories that Granny Smith knew, so those were already forgotten. Yeah, I know, right? So, but it's like, you know, they must have found this book, hid it in that compartment that they knew was there, which is how Spike just knew to open it. And then he's like, aha, you know, because Twilight says, you know, I've got to try to remember the name of that legend she mentioned. So Spike, you know, being smart in the library was like, oh, that sounds like maybe a secret of Ponyville. But how did... You know, how did Pinkie Pie know a secret of Ponyville? Didn't she grow up? My sisters and I were raised on a rock farm outside of Ponyville. In a rock farm? Yeah, well, her, her Nana Pie. Nana Pie? Who's Nana Pie? I know. We've heard of Granny Pie. Yep. Is that different from Nana Pie? So maybe she's lived in a series of foster homes along the way. Because a Nana doesn't necessarily imply someone related by blood. It could have just been a Some Nana. Some people call Grandma Nana. Some people call... It could be an aunt who you live with. And also, who trusts Pinkie Pie with the knowledge of a duplicating spell? Well, it could have just been like, you know, a nursery rhyme kind of situation. But she knew what it would do. But the she nursery was rhyme like... came from a real, a real legend. The legend of the mirror pool or whatever, right? That's it, Twilight! The legend of the mirror pool! Legend of the who what now? And the first and thing she thought of was, oh, I'll clone myself with that thing. I bet I know where it is. Where the brambles are thickest, there you will find uh, a pond beyond the most twisted of vines. And then she knew the exact spell, the words to say to make it happen. And into her own reflection she stared, uh, yearning for one whose reflection she shared, and solemnly sweared not to be scared. Well, because it was in the nursery rhyme. So notice when she walked through... You showed from her perspective coming back out and finding herself. I wonder if she just entered another parallel world and is gone. And everything we saw from that point forward was this other mirror world. It's, it's, I thought about that as well. She entered this mirror world. But you saw when she entered the mirror world, Mirror Pinky probably came out, right? So yep. in regular Ponyville, there could just be one Pinky that's Mirror Pinky. The only way but to know. But in the mirror world, right, two Pinky Pies came out. The only way to know will be if we ever have a reference to multiple Pinkie Pies again, because if there never is, I'm gonna assume that Pinkie Pie is lost in Mirror World and some evil clone of hers is out in right. the Mirror World. Right, it's like, think about it, in, in regular Equestria Pony World, if you go in the Mirror Pool, you go to Mirror World, right? And another one comes out and it's everything's even. But in Mirror World, right, the Mirror Pool is not a backwards door to the regular world. It's not a two-way door, it's a one-way door. But in Mirror World, what does the Mirror Pool do? It makes clones. Right? And that's how that works. I like how when Rainbow Dash first noticed that there were multiple Pinkie Pies. Ooh, got a red! Looks like I'm 
trying to get my attention. Excuse me. And me. She was not terribly surprised <laughs> so much as just annoyed. I mean, so, you've already seen plenty of crazy shit. Right? But it, this, this means that when Pinkie Pie does crazy crap, everyone kind of... It, they see it, and they kind of just ignore well, it. Well, Pinkie Pie does stuff almost that crazy just on her own without any magic pools, like Rainbow Dash running across the countryside and Pinkie Pie's there, Pepe Le Pew style, right? It's like she didn't need a magic pool for that, and no one was surprised. So Pinkie Pie's got some powers indeed. This is two pieces <laughs> of evidence. Yeah, and she has secret knowledges. Now, the other reason I think it might be a mirror world is that the plan to choose which Pinkie is the right one was a pretty crappy plan. It had a high chance of failure and sending the wrong Pinkie Pie back. It did have a high chance of failure, but I, I'm surprised it's like throughout the episode they let the viewer know, right, which one is the the real one. Did they really? Maybe one of the mirror ones was very good at pretending to be Pinkie Pie. It's very possible. Uh, there was only one way to tell that no one But the thought point of. is that one of them was different from all the others. There's one sad one. Found this one poking at the ground with her hoof drawing brownie faces. And a bunch of ones that are just going fun, fun, fun. Ah, but the, the other ones were all kind of stupid and didn't mm. know stuff. I mean, she had to teach them the names of her. What That's Pinkie what was. I thought they were going to go back to was the fact that they didn't know the names and that they were just going to quiz them on the names. And they all were... Pinkie Pie had to do, the real one, is go to Twilight and say, look, quiz us about Ponyville. They won't even know who the mayor is. Yeah, exactly. But no, they didn't. So, Mirror World. Twilight's not stupid. <laughs> I do like how they filled it in with a rock, but they didn't bother to do anything to the pool, right? They left the pool alone. They well, just, maybe they just, they just filled just... in this one entrance to the pool with a rock. I think they blocked it with a rock so, like, Apple Bloom doesn't fall in when <laughs> she's going on some cutie mark crusade, and then they can go deal with it later. Maybe. You know, Twilight's gonna go back and investigate it. Science is her jam. I'm sure, but, you know, it's gonna be hard with a rock in the way. I think, really, they just wanted to keep Pinkie Pie away from it. <laughs> I don't think she's gonna make the mistake of going back in there. I like how everyone was... Again, no one was. You got to be worried though. What if like a what you know? What if like an evil dragon goes in there? What if Discord goes in there? Well, then Celestia has to go in there too. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that, why doesn't Celestia go in there? <laughs> we could use five Celestias. Maybe not though, because as we know, the the Pinkie Pies were all like mirror images, and that they had a similar oh, personality. But, they sucked. but it was extreme, and they were otherwise kind of stupid and didn't know <laughs> anything. Like they didn't know anything about anything except partying and fun. So, so a, a clone Celestia that was stupid would be uh, very dangerous indeed. Exactly. The sun would be going like, wee, 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 wee. <laughs> But I like how the ponies in Ponyville, they did not go to the mayor. They never go to the mayor. Twilight is basically the ruler of Ponyville at this point. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think the mayor wasn't even in the episode, right? <laughs> I mean, you know, Twilight's basically the smartest, you know, it's like sort of like going to Ben Franklin, right? He's not in charge. I would go to Ben Franklin. Right, she's the Ben Franklin of Ponyville. It's like, you know, not in charge of anything. He was never president, right? But it's like, you need shit done, who you go to? Fucking Ben Franklin. <laughs> <laughs>